men and women of Jerusalem, hear the sentence of the Grand Sanhedrin, which has adjudged guilty of blasphemy and rebellion, Amer, son of Zachary, and Soka, son of Yezi. Herod, our great sovereign by the will of God, king of Judea, has just and deserved punishment for their crimes, orders that they shall be hanged upon stakes until they shall both be dead. Orders that they shall be exposed for two days. Let me pass. That's for my the son. Edification my only son. And as a Let me pass. The Let me pass. Oh. 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 Let me pass. 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 And that the curses of just men shall follow them into eternity. <laughs> my <laughs> Move on. Oh, my son is not guilty. You must believe me. My son is not guilty. Have pity. Have pity. <laughs> what? I'll get you some, my son. I'm going now. Will you let me take this, please? Yes. Thank you. Give him this water for pity's sake. There's no pity for those who have offended our king. Herod has murdered that man because he called Herod a murderer. Yes, yes. Return to your work now. Go back to your trading. Herod is a pirate. Herod is a pirate. Herod is a I demand an answer. And I am the commander of the king's royal guards. I answer only to the king. Defeat or victory? Aaron's face does not speak of victory. Well then, is it the end of Herod? Silence. We must be ready for anything. I understand, Aaron. Defeat. With how many men have you returned? A mere handful of your royal guards. And my Edomian cavalry? My yellow mercenaries? The Thracians? The Arabs? They were wiped out. And my ships? All sunk off Actium. But I swear to you that they fought valorously and bravely. And they would surely have held out longer if Antony's men had not given in and taken to flight. <laughs> Antony was doomed from the moment that he met Cleopatra. My king, she was the only one who was faithful to him to the end. <laughs> the end? He had no other choice but suicide. Who loses must pay. And I have lost with the others. Herod, where are the Listen to my people. Lift your voices in thanks to God, to him who has not abandoned us, to him who has heard the sound of our voices raised in lamentation. Listen to them. They can do nothing else but curse and pray. They are all wild dogs, lunatic rebels, exalted and deceived. They will soon feel the fist of Rome. But while I live, 
They would all know that Hedda did their king. While you lived, did you say? No one will ever see me in chains, Aaron. I alone will decide the time and the manner of my own end. There is only one thing that makes life worth living. To fight for something and for someone. For what? Is not my kingdom in ruins? And for whom? I am alone. Go, Aaron. My king. Go. Farewell, my king. Orders of the king. No one may enter his chamber. But I can see my father. No. No one may see him. My father has not asked for me? No. I see. He asked for that woman and her son. You're here, alive. Sarah, you must warn the queen at once. Only she can save him. Run to her and tell her to go to the king immediately. It's a question of life or death. Hurry, hurry. Well, there wasn't the usual marketplace cries near you. No, my brother, they were different voices. Something must have happened. My queen! Aaron ordered me to come to you. It's a question of life or death for the king. Hurry! Mother, what has happened to my husband? It's the end of him, Miriam. Antony has been defeated. God's mercy. Miriam! Don't go to him! Don't go to that man! My queen, Aaron said that nobody was to pass. Open it. What are you doing here? I have come. To say goodbye. Because my place is at your side. Thank you, Miriam. But now I must be alone. And soon, before nightfall, you will be alone. There will be great rejoicing and prayers of thanksgiving. The whole city is waiting. Do you think that I do not know it? They are all out there, in the corridors, the streets, the squares, waiting, all asking one another, is he still alive? Don't talk like that. It's not the first time that fate is against you. You must fight. Fight back! Why are you saying this? Because I love you. Three years ago, when you forced me to be your wife, I hated you. Your power frightened me. But then your love lit mine so much that I don't know which flame burns more. Your heart is good. I know it. It's other people's hate that made you as you are. Do not leave me. You must live. But if you have decided, then take me with you. Oh, if I could believe you. You must. If I could. If you could. Then they would not triumph over me. Let's flee together. To the desert, the mountains, where no Roman soldier will ever find us. Miriam, it will be as king or not at all. You were born a queen, and you shall remain so. This Octavian is not destiny, he is but a man. What will you do? I will live. For years I've waited for these words of yours, and I bless my bad fortune, because it has brought you close to me. you, is it? Shame on you. Always looking at yourself. Wait a moment. Why do you always hurry away? I don't want my mother to see us talking together. She doesn't like you. Does she comb your hair like a girl? It's disgusting. I'm going now. You think you're king. It's too soon. I don't understand. Your mother would. You were always playing games with words. What is it you really want? I want to know. Tell me if this is clear enough for you. Herod is finished. Either he'll commit suicide or they'll kill him. But, but you're speaking of your own father. He's always despised me. 
Perhaps because my mother was not noble like your sister. So I ask myself, what will happen to Antipater when the new king shall be Daniel? Have you already decided my fate? With your wickedness. Wickedness? It's my skin, Daniel. It's my skin. Trumpets. What does it mean? Today is a day of mourning. The army has been defeated. Many men will not return to their homes. We exalt their valor. They have fought for their king. The war has been lost. And it is my duty to think of the welfare of my people with different means from the arms which we no longer have. And it is for this reason that I have decided to go to Rhodes to pay homage to the new master of the world, the victorious Octavian. I see among you many anxious faces and the concern that you must have, but nobody speaks. Where are my counselors? Tameus, you who were proclaimed the interpreter of the law. You were summoned here today, were you not? Why do you ask me? Generally, you prefer to listen only to your astrologers. Now, but, sir, what do your planets say today? Do they speak ill for me? I am sorry for it, great king, but it is so. You should not go. I will not listen to predictions. Ezra, a ceremony will be held in the temple today at sunset for my safe journey. And thus, every day until I return. Do you understand? Yes, my king. Aaron, we leave at sunrise. Choose the escort. Depend upon me. Tavis. My king. The troops will be drawn up for my departure, and the square will be filled with cheering crowds. You shall be obeyed. Miriam. And Tavis, during my absence, see to it that the snakes among us stay in their dens. <laughs> Or when I return, I will change the color of this room to red. This won't be a pleasure journey, Olive. That's the reason I asked the honor of being a part of the king's escort. Very well. You will go with us till tomorrow. I thank you, Aaron. What is it, Sarah? You've just come home, and now you're leaving again. You make me the most unhappy wife in all the world. Herod needs me at his side. And you know I owe him everything. If it weren't for him, I would still be a petty chief in the desert of Dumea. My father met his death beside Herod in a battle against the Arabs. The king willed that I should grow up in the palace as one of his family. I, too, owe him everything. How can I ever forget that my own father was killed because of the king? He was a soldier. And you, too, are a soldier. And I fear that Herod will tear you from me, too. Dear Sarah, that will never happen. When I think of tomorrow... Don't think of it. Now I have you in my arms. Smile at me. Have you been longing for this moment? Always. Well then, no matter whether the news is good or bad, but especially if it should be good. You understand me, don't you? Woe to the vanquished is a Roman saying, and they're famous for applying it. Be careful. Make your escape in time. And remember, I must be the first to hear, absolutely the first to hear of what has happened to Herod. I am a good horseman. You'll need money. Take this. My queen. How lovely you are. My love. Why do you look so troubled? I have been looking at you, and it seemed to me that it seemed that you were surrounded by other men, and they were asking you, is it possible that you could have loved such a monster? And you said, let's not speak of it anymore. What are you saying? It was as though I had ceased to exist. Life still went on. You were still living. And you said to them, I never loved him. It is finished now. I want only to forget it. Only a moment ago, I was lying in your arms. 
Did you feel my heart? Did you feel the way it was beating? Do you think it was lying to you? Perhaps you were thinking, I must sweeten the last hours of this man. Every thought of yours is poisoned by suspicion. But you must trust me, your wife. You are so beautiful. The most powerful men in the world would throw their kingdoms at your feet. What a magnificent prize you will be for the victor. They will forgive you that you were Herod's wife. Other men will hold you in their arms. Is your faith in me so miserable? Your blood is young. It will want to live and will revolt at the thought of a dead man. You must not say that word. You told me that you have hopes, and I also have hopes. You told me that you will come back, and I know you will, and nothing will cast this thought from my mind. Is your anxiety then so little? My confidence is so great. God will not part us. Then if I ask you, will you promise me that if I should... What do you want me to do? Ask me. Ask me. Oh. Nothing, my love. Nothing. It was madness. But if there is no madness, there is no love. What does this mean? They have shut themselves up in their houses. To get them out will require a massacre. If you order me to... Uh, perhaps I will, when I return. Now we do not have the time. May the Lord go with you, my king. I used to live here once, when my family reigned over Judea. It was our family. I often wonder if you remember the blood you bear. Everyone does. The family of heroes, that's how we're known to the people. Because through the centuries we have dedicated our lives to them. And now this chosen people of the Lord must bear the domination of a proconsul of pagan Rome. No proconsul will ever dominate our land. Don't you think that Herod will return then? Or at least? that he has made secret agreements with Octavian. He's always been a master of double dealing, hasn't he? As far as double dealing goes, Mother, I know someone else who is also a master. I was filled with joy when I saw you here. I needed a word of comfort. But you just came to make me suffer. What is it that binds you to that Edomian barbarian, then? Your marriage to him was an insult to our name. He has humiliated you. He's contaminated you. You ought to hate him. It's not love. It's nothing but the senses. He has bound you to him. You fill me with disgust. My daughter, you cannot admit that I love him. And you also cannot admit that I love the son that he gave to me. Look at him. Since he came into this world, you never came to see him. For you, he is Herod's child. That is his fault. He has a face that is so sweet. So tiny and fragile. Like all other children. But for you, he is Herod's child. If Daniel were king, the people would be spared the shame of a Roman proconsul. I've come to you to know if you would be opposed to the project. I am only awaiting his return. What a sad thing that mother and daughter should be so divided. Go no further. 
my king. What do you intend to do now? I shall go on, as I have planned, to Rhodes. You, Aron, will return to the palace. My king, allow me to go with you. I know that you are loyal and brave, and it is for this reason that I have chosen you for the task. Order me. Aron, if I should not return from Rhodes... My king. If, I said, I should not return. I do not want to be alone after my death. I want her to be with me. She whom I love. She whom you love? Swear that you will obey me. I swear it. I want you to go back to the palace and stay by her and protect her while I live. But if the news should arrive... Yes, my king? She must not even suspect my order. You understand? I understand. Did he give you a message for me? He ordered me to stay close to you and to protect you. Depriving himself of his most valid and loyal man. It's strange. How was he when you left him? Despairing. Herod knows how to confront destiny. I would love to have his strength. I wonder when he will come back. By now, he should be nearing the island of Rhodes. Answer me, Aaron, and be sincere. What do you think will happen at Rhodes? Do you think he will return? He will return. I wish it as much as you. If any news arrives, advise me at once. Rest assured that I will, my queen. You may go now, Aaron. You must be very tired. Why do you think he has returned? Herod has sent us his strong right arm, his keen and watchful eye, his very shadow. Like Herod, Aaron is a Domian, a race which has brought misfortune to our land. Let us hope it will bring misfortune to Aaron also. And so Cleopatra, queen of Egypt, took her own life by causing an ass to bite her. The gods, venerable fathers of us all, have willed that she shall not follow in chains. The commander, Claudius Severus. On the coast of Africa, near Actium, Herod has been taken prisoner with some 100 armed men. Where were they headed? Here. If it's true, as they say, that Herod is a madman, this is certain proof of it. He has asked to see you. He wants to speak to you. He probably wishes to beg for clemency. I cannot be clement with a man who has arrayed his mercenaries on the side of the traitor Antony. What shall we do with him, then? Bring him before me. I want to know him. I shall measure the pride. Of one who calls himself Herod the Great. Be careful of him, Octavian. Herod is very clever at the use of the treacherous weapon of deceit. He's very shrewd. I have crushed other serpents. Surely more poisonous than he. You will wait before concluding my message to the Senate. Perhaps we may also add that my triumphal chariot in Rome will be followed in chains by the King of Judea, Herod the Great. Who saw you enter? Only my servant. Continue. He was chained, as I have told you, as soon as he dismounted from his horse. Then he was dragged in the dust like a slave who has been condemned to death. The commander then ordered him to be lashed. The people covered him with spittle and insults. Well, and then? I thought it best not to stay longer, since the soldiers of our king's escort had already been taken prisoner. You will soon hear confirmation of the execution of Herod. The news has already arrived, Oleb. How? You have brought it. I? Would you like to become commander of the guards? 
Do as I tell you and you will. I obey my queen. And after he was bound with heavy chains, he was dragged into the presence of Octavian. But he was already a corpse when he got there from the numerous wounds he had received from the soldiers and the rabble along the way. I myself saw a Roman centurion plunge his sword into his back. Then he is dead. Herod's body was devoured by dogs outside the city walls. If the Romans find our country torn by disorders, they will impose a proconsul upon us. And we must avoid this absolutely. Or it will mean the end of our independence. That must never come to pass. Let Daniel be the new king. Agreed. But let us not forget that there are still many who are faithful to our tyrant. People bound to him by blood and self-interest. They will be our enemies. We must strike them down before they can act. I am with you. Daniel is king. It's just. My father was a monster. I will tell it to the people. I will tell it to the people before all of you. No one could do it better than I can. You can trust me. I am with you. I am with you. Answer me. No. 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 What are we to do with him? He'll get what he deserves. However, he is not dangerous. Aaron is dangerous. He must be eliminated. I approve. Tonight. It's your concern. You are his friend. Aaron! Aaron, save me! The soldiers have completely surrounded the palace. There's no way for me to escape. What's the matter with you now? There's no hope for me. My father is dead. What? Yes. You are lying. You are lying! No, no, they want to kill me too. I saw it in their faces. They've condemned me to death just because I am his son. And who came back with this news? I don't want to die, Aaron. I want to live. Help me, Aaron. You must help me. Who lives? Is Hera dead? Yes, I must speak with you. I wanted to go and kneel before Octavian and entreat him to deliver me the remains of the king for an honorable entombment in Jerusalem. But I feared for my own life. I confess it. By disguising myself in these clothes, I was able to escape. To die like that, a great king, so great that even destiny itself seemed to be subject to him. How much he would have regretted not falling in battle. We served him faithfully to the very end. I must serve him even beyond the end. What did you say? He gave me an order. Have you gone mad? Have pity! Have pity! Pity! You, my closest friend. Why? They ordered me to do it. Oleb. Aaron, what happened? He was my friend, and he tried to murder me. The palace is in great turmoil. Is it true what they're saying? The king... It's true. Go back to your chamber. And you? There is something that I have to do. Listen to me, Aaron. There will be a new king. New factions will command in the palace. Don't set yourself against them. Aaron! Go back to your chamber, as I told you. And don't leave it again.
take the baby. Any news? Yes, my queen. Dead? Oh, I should have stopped him. He shouldn't have gone. Oh, it's my fault. I can't live any longer without him. <laughs> Aaron, I implore you. Aaron, kill me. Kill me. Do as I tell you. Kill me. I cannot. It is what he himself ordered me to do. But I cannot. He. I have always obeyed my king. When he has wished it, I have killed for him with these hands. But now, you know. You must go on living. This is what he wanted? What has been cannot be changed. Now you must find new strength and think only of the present and of the future. Of the future? And of your son. It is for him that you must live, to see him grown up and sitting upon the throne of his father. One day you are sure to be proud of him. Now you must think of the life of your son. What are you saying? A revolt is on the point of breaking out of the palace here. There will be plenty of bloodshed and your son will be sacrificed for reasons of state. Does this not move you? My baby. Who? My mother? It's she who's behind the plotting. And even if she did try to save him, the others would prevent her. Forget about Herod and about yourself if you really love your baby. Idiot. Aaron was quicker than he was. Now he'll arouse his guards. Aaron and all his guard have fled from the palace with the queen and the little prince. I would have preferred to see Aaron in his place. Here's Herod the Great. Why are his eyes shut? Seven days in the dark, Octavian. Bring him here. Seven days in the dark, you can stand, you can sleep, but without water. Do you want water? I want to talk to you. What do you hope to obtain? You are now my prisoner. If you had captured me, Octavian, then I should expect to be killed. But I came here of my own free will. Do you think that will soften your fate? Yes, because I have the right. The vanquished have no rights. But a king who comes himself to the enemy camp and presents himself to the victor has to be listened to, not out of generosity, but for your own good. Do you think Octavian should learn the arts of war from you? No. Victorious Octavian. But the politics and life of these oriental countries, especially where my Judea is concerned, you will find that it is not like other countries. You're astute and ready with your words, Herod. But Rome has no interest in speeches. It is interested in faithful allies in those regions where its frontiers are threatened. In Judea, cunning and experience serve better. These were my weapons. Who will collect your taxes? No one has been able to collect them from that people, except Herod. Why then seek a new man when you already have one who can be useful to you? If you replace me, then you will have to send many legions which you need elsewhere. Must I forget that you put your entire forces in the field against me? That you were faithful to Anthony to the very end? Yes, I was faithful. And this from a Roman is the greatest tribute that you could pay me. Do not think of whom I was a friend. Think of how I was a friend. And I will be the same to you too. Your friendship shifts easily from vanquished to victor, like a chariot in the circus racing from one turning post to the other. You're very astute, Herod. But if you try your shrewdness against the forces of justice, it will have no effect upon me, as your arms had no effect upon Rome. Take this man away. Tell him executed, Caius Octavian. He will stand as an example to the other petty sovereigns who think of rebelling against Rome along the coast of Asia. I haven't decided what is to be his fate. Whether he will follow in chains my triumph in Rome, or whether he will remain on this coast as a perennial warning of our strength. 
at about Brickman. He deserves only one fate, his death. Let us leave it to the gods to enlighten us. I give no consideration to my personal sympathies, Claudius Severus, but only to the future of the Empire. has just come back. What's happening in Jerusalem? What's going on in Jerusalem? There's nothing new. They're preparing for the coronation of Daniel. How much time did you need to gather the tribe? It won't be possible before the new moon. Many of them are still in the pasture. We must call them together before that. I want messengers to go through the length and breadth of Idumea and see that signals of the convocation reach the most distant tribes. We will depart tonight. I will come along with you. The Queen! My queen, we shall attack Jerusalem. The throne belongs to you and to your child. I don't want to fight against my mother and my brother. I just want my child's life to be safe. You are the queen. You have not to ask, but only to command. When you shall have an army, no one will dare to threaten you. That is the law of war. Either conquer or be vanquished. It is far better to entrust your own destiny to the force of arms rather than the compassion of others. I leave you, my queen. You will be among men of trust. God bless you. We'll place the little prince on the I'm going with you. No, you must go back to Jerusalem. We need an informant there. Must we separate again? Sarah, we cannot think only of ourselves. Yes. Do as you think best. Keep well always. busy with the feast now. But later they'll come looking for me. They'll know I haven't left the palace. They'll search everywhere till they find me. I hope not. If they should find that I have hidden you, I would die with you. What a pity your father is no longer here. When he was with us, things weren't so bad. Now I'll have to go back to my own country. Here, drink. Who is it? They're coming. Who is it? Guys, what happened? It's only the slave. Moab? I don't trust him. He may have betrayed us for money or from fear. There are soldiers posted everywhere. Should he go out now, it'll be death. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps. The entire city is celebrating. There will be great confusion. I cannot stand it anymore. They will find me before night. You must have faith. The stars are favorable to you. I know those stars are yours. If your father had believed in my stars, he would be alive now. It is written, I have cried to the Lord for a long time and he has listened to my cry. And he has drawn me out of the quagmire of despond, and he has placed my feet upon the firm rock. Daniel, remember these words, and may your reign be as a rock for the glory of the Lord and of Israel. May you be an example of virtue, to the end that the mire which covers this throne through the guilt of an impious king shall be washed away. Look, what's happening? Who are they? It's the Romans! Oh.
in front of the palace. Go on with the coronation. Hurry, you must act quickly. Ezra, accompany him to the throne. Place the crown upon his head. Proclaim him the new king of Judea. For the glory of the Lord of Israel Herod and of all the great king of Judea. perhaps? <laughs> Claudius, you will find many strange things about this country. They do not perform on the stage as they do in Rome and Greece. Here they recite their parts in palaces. And the characters are not played by actors. They are real. An ambitious queen mother, a traitor general. I was faithful to you, my king, as long as I believed you were alive. And all are gathered here to perform a comedy, a crowning ceremony. What did you say? The sad news of your death came to our ears as a grievous thing for us all, my king. Where is the queen? Where is Aaron? You thought that I was dead? Yes, my king. Ole brought back this terrible news to us. <gasps> ah! Out of my way! By order of Octavian Augustus, Emperor of the Romans, Herod is King of Judea. To him, the people and all of you here owe absolute obedience. Father! Oh, Father, you're alive! Yes, yes, I have returned as I promised. I have to hide myself. It's as much a miracle that I am alive as it is you've come back. Tell me, where is the Queen? Kill them, Father. Avenge yourself. Where Destroy is them all. the and Queen? One... Will you answer me? Where is the Queen? Where is Aaron? Aaron. I asked his help, but he refused it. He only thought of protecting her. I'm asking you, where is the queen? What has happened to my wife? She fled. Fled? With him. Then she is safe. Where is she? Ask Sarah. Father. Kill them, father. Kill them, father. Kill them. Sarah! My king. Where is Aaron? Well, answer me, woman. You must know. I know. Is the queen with him? Is she safe? Yes. Come then, show me where they are. <laughs> Smell your perfume. Nothing else exists now. The expectation of death, the distance longing for you, and the terror that I might have lost you. This moment makes up for everything. Speak to me. You're here. You have come back. I thank God. Oh, it was not your God that saved Herod. He saved himself. Why do you look at me like this? Something has changed. Changed? In you. If you had loved me, how could you have thought, decided, how could you have ordered? Where is Aaron? Gathering together the men who are still faithful to you. Because Herod is thought dead, and so that his son may be able to reign. Do you not ask me why? Why he did not do it? I don't know. I only know that I could not order someone to go and kill the one person I loved. Do you not understand? Do you not understand what my love is for you? When you were ill two years ago, when you almost died, I determined then that if your illness should take you from me, that I would not continue without you. For without you, there would be nothing. Is it so strange then that I should demand the same from you? But you did not demand it. Instead, you put an assassin at my side. And it was only through his mercy that you did not find my grave on your return. Did you even think of your son? 
Aaron did. Aaron. Not only did he reveal what he should have kept to himself, but now he has made you my enemy. Enemy? Oh, Miriam. Oh, forget my madness. I have returned to you. And you have not even given me a smile. Ah, what a joy it is to be home again, Claudius. Among my people. I know that you are homesick for your Rome, but we will do our best to make your stay with us a pleasant one, to make this evening unforgettable. Friends, let us show our guests from Rome that peace, joy, and happiness reign in Herod's palace. You will find, Claudius, that my people are reticent to display their emotions when they are overcome with joy. Wine! Let us drink to the new peace of Rome, the peace of those who have eliminated their enemies. To Claudius Severus, a strong wine which can overcome the dryness of stone. And now, for some of my other favorite wines. To Alessandra, the pride of Israel, the noble representative of a most noble blood. I don't drink, as you know. But for once, you must drink. And for my friends, the wine that they most deserve, Tarez. A rock of unshakable faithfulness. For you, the same. And Samias, for you, for you a wine that is cool and limpid, like wisdom. And if you should find it somewhat bitter, then blame my wisdom, for there is always something bitter in it. What is the matter? Are you ill? Herod. Drink. Toast the health of your king! <laughs> Are you all afraid to drink my wine? Your fear has given you away. <laughs> My king, little Prince Daniel, there, in the pool. No! Daniel! Daniel! He's dead. your sorrow, Alexander. Abomination! I knew it! I felt it! It was you who had him killed! You! He did not know how to swim. He must have fallen in while playing. Be quiet! Be quiet! I hate you! How dare you! He is the king! Leave her alone! She is his mother. Unfortunate Daniel. You had your whole life before you. You could have aspired to great things. Your blood gave you the right. I wish that he be buried as a king, with full honors, exactly as would have been given to Herod, if Herod had died.
Don't touch him. Mother, you are not my daughter. You are not Daniel's sister. You are only the woman of that murderer. You are his accomplice. Mother, what are you saying? Don't try to win me with false tears. Revenge your brother. You must kill him and free us from that monster. <sighs> My son, my dear son, look at me. I implore you, give me an answer for this. The king does not answer to anyone. The king, no, but my husband, yes. Say only a word, a single word to take away this terrible thought from my mind. Say it was an accident. I have already said that it was. Look at me and tell me again, now. Answer me this question, Miriam. Which is the dearer to you? Your brother's life or mine? Supposing you had to choose. Nobody can demand such a choice. Very well then, let us suppose that the brother intended to kill the husband, what then? This is your answer, then. You had him killed! Listen to what I am saying! Let us suppose a king who is surrounded by enemies. He reads in everyone's eyes lies, hatred, treachery. His throne and his life are in danger. And in the middle of this rising tide, a brother, a queen's brother, this king, what should he do? Should he not forestall his enemies and strike first? You revenged yourself on a poor young boy. Uh, as a queen and as a wife, you should have replied that what has been done could not have been avoided. I hated those who hated you. The courtiers who were betraying you. The Pharisees who were inciting the people. And even those who came by night and soiled the palace walls with insults. I even made an enemy of my mother for you. Because... Because I loved you. There is no room for weakness in this work. One must strike first or be destroyed. Perhaps your enemies are no better than you. Perhaps they don't have the right to hate you. But I don't have the right to love you. Something is dead in me now. You killed it. No, you must not talk like this. You do not know what you are saying. It is because of what has happened that now you say things that you do not mean. Later you will understand. Miriam. It was said that Daniel looked like me. That he had my face and my eyes. Do you still want to embrace me? Do not speak of him anymore. Leave me. Let me go. But I need you. Herod needs nobody. Then go! And join my enemies! The only real enemy you have is you yourself! Miriam! What are you doing here? I heard you. And you dare to admit it? Is it strange I should give thought to my father? That I should worry if his honor is betrayed? Does he suffer? But I realize that though he is strong with others, he's a weakling before his wife. Get out of here! How true it is that every man shapes his ruin with his own hand. Antipater, you are twisted and malicious. If you have something to say, then say it or go. Have you no trust in me? Not much, but go on. If you would only consider it malice, I would gain nothing but your anger. Uh, speak! When they thought you were dead, they wanted to crown another king. Maybe your wife, when she thought you were dead. What? Yes, it could be. Break your neck, curse you! How dare you insinuate such a thing? Tell me the truth or I'll break you in two! Let me go! You're right! I take back everything I said! Who is the man? Who is he? The man? Just think about it for a moment. <sighs> who is there here in the palace who is young enough? whose aspect is vigorous and slightly vulgar, such as women like. Do you want his name? But you already know, Father. Aaron! You've said it. 
The most faithful. They're always the ones. What else do you know? That they were together, they escaped together, and they lived together both day and night. Even if you observe well, there's something between them. Like a communion of thoughts. I want facts. You ask too much. In their intimate moments, naturally, I was not there. If you have lied to me, it is much more dangerous to tell you the truth. Last night, I was finally able to sleep a little. It was so wonderful. I dreamed of my Daniel. Do you recall how he was as a baby, with his long hair hanging down on his shoulders? My poor little baby. It is all my fault. I wanted to make him king, and I lost him. Mother, don't cry. <sighs> the baby has just waked up, my queen. <sighs> don't cry, mother. Please. <sighs> Sarah, what has happened to you? Arden has disappeared, and they've appointed a new commander of the Royal Guard. I'm afraid, my queen. I'm afraid. But you should inquire of the new commander. I have asked him, but he wouldn't answer me. No one will tell me anything. You must help me, my queen. Only you can ask the king where he is. I cannot. But it's a question of Arden's life. If he has fallen into disgrace... In disgrace? You know what will happen to him. In disgrace? But it's impossible. He was Herod's best friend. They are the ones the tyrants strike down first. Forgive my boldness. But I can't stand it anymore. I'm going mad. He is everything to me. Don't cry, Sarah. I will help you. Wait for me. Mother, please, take care of the baby. Your orders have been faithfully executed, my king. The Maus and the Commander Serka have been put in chains. Don't tell me, tell the hangman. Ah, you could not have come at a better moment. Allow me to present to you our new commander of the guards, the valorous and faithful Ephraim. My sword and my life are dedicated to your cause. Well spoken, Ephraim. The queen appreciates your, your good intentions. You may go now. I did not think that I should see you again, after all the days and nights that you have kept away from me. What have you done with your best friend? My best friend? But everyone here is a friend. You understood me very well. I am speaking about Aaron. Oh, Aaron. For some time now, you have avoided me as if I were some plague. And now at last I see you again. Why is it, I wonder? Could it be perhaps that you are curious to know what has happened to Aaron? You are pale. You are shaking. Why are you afraid? For him? Could it be that you are afraid something has happened to him? What have you done to him? You want to see him? Very well, then. Come with me. Where are you taking me? Be patient. Now you can look at him. Why are you wasting time? The man has fainted, my king. Then let him know that we are here. Vinegar. <laughs> Look at me. You recognize me? Herod. Your king. No. Not any longer. You were ambitious, my little Edomian, gathering together the desert tribes. For what? To steal the throne for her, perhaps? And for yourself? No doubt you thought in your miserable little mind. Why not be daring as well? Did not Herod meet with success in the same venture? And his courage and his greatness are in me, too. What a pathetic and pale imitation. A jackal! Disguised as a lion. Look at yourself, then, and tell me who is king. Aaron, I can let you die quickly. Or I can keep you alive 
so that you will curse the woman that brought you into this world. It depends on how you answer this question. How long has all this been going on between you? When did it start? <laughs> Start. For how long have you two made hell of your fool? Continue. My king, this way he will die I soon. I said continue. Oh, mercy. I want the truth. None of it is true. None of it. Swear it to me. I swear it. Prove it. What can I do? Kill him yourself and I will believe you. But he is innocent. He will be buried with full honors. But this is terrible. His life for our love. That is no. what I demand. It is the only proof that you can give me. No. The only proof that I will believe. Oh, because you love him, you. you. Ah. Take her away. Again. The vinegar. that he has been like that. He's always been possessed of the devil. Only you would never believe it. At one time he was not like this, when I married him. Tell me it's not true. My poor Sarah. If I only knew that by confessing, Aaron would be safe. I would have confessed what I never committed, even in my thoughts. I can't bear it anymore. There must be some way. Flight. What are you saying? Is it possible? Do you know? Tell me, I implore you. In the next change of the guard, there will be men whom we can trust. The only faith of the guards is the fear of the master. Why should they risk their lives for Aaron? Aaron, nor me, nor you. But for something that is worth the risk. Go. He's right. Someone will always sell himself for gold. We must at least try. Only as I have already told you, my queen, the recompense must be equal to the risk. I unfortunately possess nothing, and my father hardly allows me enough to clothe me. But you, my queen, are resplendent with treasures. That necklace alone. I don't know what's in your thoughts, but I know I must try to save Eric. I promised that Aaron would be saved, and I will keep my word. You may go now, sir. out of here in place of the body of Samuels. Is he dead? Yes. Tortured to death. We must hurry. Come, I'll help you. Give me the reward you promised me now. Here it is. It's worth much more than what you deserve. It's all done as you wished, my lord. And the guard? He has been paid. You did not mention my name. Oh, no. I know that I can trust you. You may go. Sleep, my baby. Sleep. I don't want to see you anymore. Go away. Forgive me for what I have done to you. 
I've struck you. Marked you. Forgive me. I cannot sleep. I, I cannot rest. I've been thinking of many things. Of you. Of my son. My son? Herod, you're mad. What are you thinking? Uh, what shall I do? Aaron did not confess, and he will die before a single word will pass his lips against you. And you say nothing. You hold within your hands my peace of mind, and you do not want to speak. And you do not want to listen. I rule a mob of slaves, but it is I who am the slave. Yes, your slave if you want it. Is it not possible again? That you feel as I feel? After all our happiness? Again? All that's happened seems so far away. It seems as if it happened to other people. Not to you and me. But it was to you and me. And it could still be so again if you want it. I will forgive everything if you are willing to be with me again. I will forget all that you have done. I pray God to enlighten you. I am not speaking of God. I'm speaking of ourselves. You must humble yourself. Ask my forgiveness. And then we will start afresh. Our love. Everything. You have insulted me like a courtesan. And now you want to treat me like one. I ask you for the last time. No. Never. I know you don't want to listen to me, Father, but Aaron has escaped. What? He's no longer in prison. What are you talking about? Someone must have bribed his guards. Who has bribed them? Come with me, Father. You sent for me to come to you. What is it, Miriam? This is horrible. I have married a monster, and now God is punishing me. What can I do, Mother? Calm yourself, my daughter. Calm yourself. Sit down here and tell me all that has happened. The child. My baby. I'm frightened. He looked at him in such a strange way. And he was saying strange words. As if he doubted that it was his child. Do you realize what that means? If he thinks that it is not his child, he might even kill him. Yes, he is capable of it. You must help me. Take the baby. Leave the palace and Jerusalem and go where nobody can find you. Save the baby. Very well. My poor daughter. Who gave you this? Speak up, man. It's the king who questioned you. Moab, the old household slave. When I discovered it was Moab, he tried to kill me. I had to kill him in self-defense. Get rid of him. To the executioner. Fifty! 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 I gave her this when I returned from Egypt. It's all clear. Yes. All is clear now. Tomorrow night we will be at my home, my queen, in Bethlehem. Go and tell me if you see anyone coming. Remember, he must live like all other children. It's the only way for him to be safe. No one will know he's the son of the king. Take good care of him. He is so sweet and so delicate. I know very well what it means to have children. If God wishes, after this storm has passed, I will let you know. May the Lord protect you, my child. Wait. Who knows if I will ever see him again? The gods, my queen! They're coming here! <laughs> One guard, stay here at the door. You two, come with me. Orders of the great and noble King Herod. From this moment on, you are a prisoner. You may not leave these chambers for any reason, and no one may visit you. Tomorrow at the third hour, you will be conducted before the Grand Sanhedrin in order to be judged. Priests of the Sanhedrin, only a full and humble confession of guilt may be allowed to move you to clemency. Royal Queen, you now stand before your judges.
Before my judges, yes, as you also are. Do you not recognize the legitimacy of this tribunal? I can see a higher one before me. This is prideful arrogance. I can barely see you, and your voices reach me vaguely and weakly. God is my only judge. He knows that cowardice and falsehood would help me to survive, but it would be a very despicable life. You are accused of adultery. I stand before you because of my faithfulness. Do you admit that you assisted in the escape of the prisoner? I admit it. He was your partner in sin. Do you admit this also? You must answer. Did he sin with you? No. Why then did you assist him to escape? He was unjustly imprisoned, as I am unjustly before you. To flee justice means to despise it. Justice. He was innocent and would have been killed anyhow. Do not kill, said the Lord to Moses. Commit not adultery. This too the Lord said to Moses. But you have forgotten this commandment, woman. Father? Well, what is happening? The judges know they must render justice to you. But why are they taking so long? The woman is clever. She talks well. We'll go back then and tell them to hurry this business. sign. According to my science or according to the superstition of the Judeans? It is to you that I put this question. Nabut, sir, you know very well that tonight will be decided the fate of the woman who has been my wife. This celestial sign is a warning, perhaps, for an omen. Answer me! Great King, it is truly a sign of justice, an admonition to your enemies, an announcement of glory for you. Even if the false prophets pretend that this comet you see in the sky signifies the coming of the Messiah, the new king of Judea. My fortunes are reflected in the heavens. I need not have feared otherwise. Now all the people of Israel will see and understand that the stars protect Herod. Guilty. Guilty. Did she admit to her guilt? No, my king. did not ask for mercy. Not for herself, but for those who were passing judgment upon her. She had no word then for the man she had offended. Nothing for the king she had betrayed. What is your judgment? Ezra, the judgment! The great Sanhedrin has found the queen guilty of adultery as accused. She did not ask for mercy. It is not human. 
she will show her hatred of me to the end. Father, you must decide the punishment. She is an adulteress. The law shall be upheld. She shall be stoned to death. She shall be stoned to death. Tomorrow at sunset. What did you say? I asked you if the execution is to take place tomorrow at sunset. Yes. has condemned the queen to death. Shh. She is to be stoned today at sunset. Move your arm a little. That's right. Does it hurt? Not much. You have nursed me well. Do you have any news of the queen? I've heard nothing. Well, then I must go myself. No, not yet. Do you love her, Aaron? Destiny has inexorably mingled our lives. Answer me. Do you love her? Yes. But you see, it isn't love as you understand it, Sarah. Everything that could ever pertain to the nobility of a woman, she possesses the purity, the grace, the gentleness. One look from her is enough, and one of her smiles to recompense any man for the greatest sacrifices. Hera does not deserve her, and he has been unjust. That is why I feel it my duty to defend her and to save her. Sarah, what is it? I have to tell you then. No one can save the Queen now. No one. Why not? Today, at sunset, she is to be stoned. No. And you knew about this? I was jealous. I didn't want you to risk your life by trying to save her. You mustn't go. I love you. I couldn't bear to lose you. Detestable tyrant. So he has even come to this vileness. I won't allow him to commit such an infamous act. The giant, Alan, he will crush you. Alan! An eye for an eye. That's what he taught me. Alan! Alan, don't leave me. Don't Let leave me, go. me, Alan. Let me go. Alan! Alan, don't leave me alone, Alan! 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 Each of you will take command of his own men. The condemned woman will be conducted from her cell across the square to the wall outside the eastern gate. It's the king's order. In the square, there will be many people. Many. And outside the wall, there'll be still more. But I require of you that there are to be no incidents. Everything must be orderly and carried out to perfection. God is. 
Has she asked for me? No, my king. It's not as if she should do so. If she should confess, if she begs for mercy, even at the last minute, then you understand you? Yes. In that case, I will suspend the execution. Yes, you must. You must stop the execution. Promise me, Tares, that you will stay with her. Promise me. I will, my king. Go then. Father, a man has just been arrested. He was spreading rebellion among the people, telling a fantastic tale of a miracle, that the Messiah has been born and a new king will reign in Judea. A new king? Fetch him here. He claims that he has seen him. What is this you are supposed to have seen? Well... Him. We were grazing our flock near Bethlehem, I and my son. Suddenly, as night had started to fall, a great star in the heavens illumined the valley where there was an old stable. My sons became frightened. But I, seeing the great multitude which was going in that direction, said, let us go too. As we drew near the place, I saw upon the faces of those who had arrived before us, how shall I say it? It was peace. It was joy. And in my heart, I felt that same peace, that same joy. I looked into the stable, and I saw a man and a woman, and on the straw, a little one who had just been born. And kneeling before him, three kings dressed in robes the like of which I'd never seen. Three kings were adoring the newly born babe. I looked at my sons, who knelt down. Then I knelt down too. I knew that I had begun weeping. The people all about me were saying, it is he, it is the Messiah, the new king of Judea. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Enough. Ephraim, take your men, go to this Bethlehem, and kill all the newborn. All of them shall be done. If you will confess your guilt, you will be saved. You must decide. Very well, you must die. People of Jerusalem, you must carry out the sentence. It is the law. The Sanhedrin has condemned her as an adulteress. Carry out the sentence. Don't go. You won't recognize her. 
She was no longer mine. She was innocent, and now she has punished me. Here I am. Father, father. And keep at her. You knew she was innocent. No. Yes. You knew it. No, father. It is you who have done all this. Serpent! It is you who have killed her! I only acted for your sake, for your honor, against those who hated you! No, Father! Why did you do it? But why did you do it, you jackal? on my throne? Oh. <sighs> everywhere. Rising. Everywhere. Their 
must be a place in the world for love rather than hate.